14 statements from our Savior Jesus Christ about how we receive eternal life. 1. You hear the word of God, which is alive. 2. You reach out your hands to the word and receive it inside you. It's like you're thirsty. You see some water running, it looks nice and fresh. You want to drink the water, how do you, you do it? You do something in faith, you go to the water, reach your cup under the water, fill your cup, and what else? Is it enough to look at the contents of the cup? No, you are just thirsty, the same with the word of God. You will have to do an action, raise your hands with the cup in, open your mouth and drink, receive. The same with God's word then it is not enough with you get excited, say yes, true amen, you will have to act, do something in faith, you must eat three eat and drink the word the living water, or you both die of thirst and salt, spiritually speaking. We receive eternal life and are born again by believing in the Son of God Jesus Christ. The new birth, a spiritual divine birth. We cannot feed ourselves anew by our own deeds. Jesus also says that when we believe in him, we already have eternal life. Therefore, it is important for us to trust what Jesus says about salvation. It is important to believe that what Jesus says about salvation by faith is true. We must be careful not to let our emotions or the teachers of the law cast doubt on salvation by faith so that we begin to work on salvation by doing works of the law to justify ourselves. Jesus is the only true righteousness to God Almighty. We must be careful not to let other people talk us out of Jesus' version of salvation by faith. Let's hear these scripture passages through and let them sink deep into our hearts. Let's stick to what is written. John 1 verse 12, But those who received him, those who believed in him, he gave them the right to call themselves children of God. 13. They were born again. It is not an ordinary human birth caused by the decision and action of people. It is a divine birth. John 3 verse 15. Whoever looks unto him and believes in him will have eternal life. John 3 verse 36 All who believe in the Son have eternal life. John 4 verse 14 But if you drink from the water I give, you will never thirst again. The water I give becomes like a spring that pours forth with eternal life. John 5 verse 24 I say this to you, those who receive my message and believe in God, who sent me, have eternal life and are not brought before the court. They have already been transferred from death to life. John 6 verse 40 My Father wills that all who see the Son and believe in Him shall have eternal life, and that I should raise them from the dead on the last day. Jesus is by faith in you the resurrection and your life both now and after your body is dead. John 6 verse 47 I say to you, whoever believes has already been given eternal life. You cannot believe without being born to it. Born again faith gives you grace and the opportunity to act in faith and receive God's living word, which only living food by virtue of your faith is alive by the hell he spirit inside you. John 6 verse 54 But those who eat my body and drink my blood have eternal life, and I will raise them up on the last day. 55 My body is the true food, and my blood is the true drink. 56 Those who eat my body and drink my blood will experience a lasting fellowship with me. 
John 10 verse 9 I am the door. Those who come into the fold through me shall have eternal life. They will go out to find food, and they will come back home. 10 The thief comes only to steal, slaughter, and destroy, but I have come that they may have life, even abundance of life. John 10 verse 27 My sheep obey my voice. I know them and they follow me. 28 I give them eternal life, and they shall never perish. No one can rip them out of my hand. John 11 verse 25 Jesus continued, I am the resurrection and the life. Those who believe in me shall live even if they die, 26, and those who live in faith in me shall never die for eternity. John 17 verse 2 You have given me the highest authority over all mankind, that I may give eternal life to all those you have given me. 3 Eternal life is to know you, the only true God, and the Savior and Messiah whom you have sent. Afslutning så. John 20 verse 30 Jesus did many more miracles before his disciples than those recorded in this book. 31 But I have written this so that you may believe that Jesus is the Messiah, the Son of God, and through your faith partake of eternal life. 14 Statements from Our Savior Jesus Christ About How We Can Receive Eternal Life We receive eternal life by believing in God's Son Jesus Christ. 14 Statements from Our Savior Jesus Christ About How We Can Receive Eternal Life We receive eternal life by believing in the Son of God, Jesus Christ. John 1 verse 12, But those who received him, those who believed in him, he gave them the right to call themselves children of God. 13 They were born again. It is not an ordinary human birth caused by the decision and action of people. It is a divine birth. John 3 verse 15 Whoever looks unto him and believes in him will have eternal life. There is everyone, everyone, not just your church or those who have the same opinions as you, everyone who believes in Jesus remember it. John 3 verse 16 For God loved the world so much that he gave his only Son, that whosoever believes in him may not perish, but have eternal life. John 3 verse 36 All who believe in the Son have eternal life. No one can believe in the Son Jesus, live in the faith without being born again of God himself, then we do not have the great divisions among us if everyone just believed in Jesus, did as he said. John 4 verse 14 But if you drink from the water I give, you will never thirst again. The water I give becomes like a spring that pours forth with eternal life. John 5 verse 24 I say this to you, those who receive my message and believe in God, who sent me, have eternal life and are not brought before the court. They have already been transferred from death to life. Hat star it. We already have eternal life. By virtue of the blood of Jesus we are cleansed from all unrighteousness, by virtue of Jesus' death on the cross and resurrection we are sanctified to the Lord God. We have it and are it. John 6 verse 40 My Father wills that all who see the Son and believe in Him shall have eternal life, and that I should raise them from the dead on the last day. John 6 verse 47 I say to you, whoever believes has already been given eternal life. John 6 verse 54 But those who eat my body and drink my blood have eternal life, and I will raise them up on the last day. 
55. My body is the true food, and my blood is the true drink. 56. Those who eat my body and drink my blood will experience a lasting fellowship with me. John 10 verse 9 I am the door. Those who come into the fold through me shall have eternal life. They will go out to find food, and they will come back home. 10 The thief comes only to steal, slaughter, and destroy, but I have come that they may have life, even abundance of life. John 10 verse 27 My sheep obey my voice. I know them and they follow me. 28 I give them eternal life, and they shall never perish. No one can rip them out of my hand. If I wear Jesus' decibel you are compared to a sheep where Jesus is your shepherd. Where you automatically obey the shepherd's voice, otherwise things go wrong for you you get outside the shepherd area and can die from it. John 11 verse 25 Jesus continued, I am the resurrection and the life. Those who believe in me shall live even if they die, 26 and those who live in faith in me shall never die for eternity. Do shall never die, the only thing that happens is that your current body disappears and you enter your new body of eternity. Jesus died once and for all before you, death is only like a sleep, you don't feel it, you have already passed from death to life, yes, to life in God, it has happened. John 17 verse 2 You have given me the highest authority over all mankind, that I may give eternal life to all those you have given me. 3 Eternal life is to know you, the only true God, and the Savior and Messiah whom you have sent. John 20 verse 30 Jesus did many more miracles before his disciples than those recorded in this book. 31 But I have written this so that you may believe that Jesus is the Messiah, the Son of God, and through your faith partake of eternal life. God in Jesus, by virtue of the Holy Spirit in God's people, does many more things than the Bible tells about. God is the author of love, God is full of grace and surprises for us. If only the people would reach out and just accept instead of wanting to make so much effort in the hope of obtaining something from God. How much does a child do to achieve something from his parents? Nothing. The parents see the child's needs cover the need in love, as does God your father. If only you would believe it and actively receive all the gifts and love God has for you through the Son Jesus your Savior in all things. Um.